if you're using the withdrawal method or more come withdrawal method gave me extra two kids <music> hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Wemimo and I'm also known as Dark 105 if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back right so without wasting much of your time I'm just gonna dive straight into the topic for today so today we're gonna to be talking about um, women's sexual health and when it comes to when I say women's sexual health it's got to do with like family planning contraceptives and stuff like that so in my last video I'm gonna link it up here if you've not watched it I told you guys about me getting a contraceptive. I've had some contraceptives in the past, but the one I settled for and that would settle for over and over again, I will share that with you. But before then, I'm just going to talk about several types of um, contraceptives that are out there. And if I'm able to find the image of these contraceptives, I'll pop them somewhere in the video. And if not, I'm going to leave a direct link in my description where you can easily go and carry out more research. And before I start talking about this, I'm going to put out a disclaimer out there. I am not a gynecologist. I am not a sexual health nurse. However, I'm a mom who've had kids and i've had my fair share of several types of family planning methods so where can you get contraceptive or where can you get family planning method done if you're in the uk you get them mostly from your local sexual health clinic here in glasgow we got one and they call it sandy ford health center and secondly if you're in the uk again you can get sexual health information from your gp practice mostly from your practice nurse so types of contraceptives out there there are varieties of contraceptives out there and i believe the most popular one that we know about is the pills and condom so in terms of every other there are several other ones which i'm just going to mention to you right now if you see me glancing down it's because i've got my notes i don't want to forget anything so other types of contraception and family planning out there are caps or diaphragms and um, there are combined pills there are contraceptive injection there are contraceptive implant which is the next plan on there's the contraceptive patch there are the female condoms there are iud's there are high us and there are um implants as well so in terms of, i'm going to talk about three that i have had in the past so in the past i had the contraceptive injection which is called depo provera and i'm going to talk about talk i'm going to mention the details of this um depo provera how it works for you so ideally depo provera has to be taken every 13 weeks and it is known to be 90 with depo provera it is known to be 99 percent effective it may take up to one year for your fertility to return if you stop taking pro depo provera that is if you almost try having a baby it might take a year after you stop taking this injection before your fertility returns and one thing about all this contraceptive and contraceptive is that they do not prevent sti so when i say they do not pre prevent sti if you're going to be intimate with a partner i believe both of you should be aware of each other's sexual health and if you decide not to use a condom because you are quite assured that both of your both of your health is 100 percent great good but if you have concerns if you think no you don't want to jeopardize the fact that you're exposing yourself to any unknown infection it is ideal that you use a condom even while you are on and while you are on depo provera or any sort of other um contraceptive so with this depo provera i used it and i only used it twice and i hated it reason why was because i'm going to read out the side effect and this is why exactly the side effects i suffered from so i suffered from mood swings like crazy irregular bleeding breast tenderness like my breasts were so heavy like you know when you've, you've just had a baby and you feel your boobs are very heavy those were my those were the experiences that i had weight gain 
and low libido so like i said these are the side effects i suffered from some other women might not suffer from this but for me when i was on this injection those were my experiences and i ate it and i took it twice which means i took it for 26 weeks and after then i stopped another reason why i stopped it was because i started having this um dimple like you know when you peel an acne on the face you know the way your skin will pop up i was starting to experience that and i was saying to not like why is my dad she was like oh it's normal i'm like no that's not normal i don't want this so i stopped taking it so another um, another um contraceptive injection i have had in the past is called is the implant so the implant is the next plan on i believe that's what it's called i'm just going to double check that to be sure yeah, so it's the next plan on. So next plan on is a small flexible rod that is placed under your skin. So they will make a, a small incision. In fact, I've still got this mark from mine there. They'll make a small incision there and then they will insert it into your arm. So for that one, next plan on seems to be quite good as well. And I'm, the reason why I stopped taking next plan on is that it was giving me lots of migraine. I was getting irregular bleeding prolonged bleeding heavy bleeding mood swings like most times i wouldn't sleep and then i was getting weight gain and i think one of the major reasons why i stopped it was that i was getting lots of discomfort in my left arm like at some times my hands would just feel as if i've just like at times i might not feel my hands and then all of a sudden my hands might just get cold while i remain warm so i was like I really don't understand because I was not having any of these symptoms before I had it in. So at that point, I went back after six months because it's meant to be in for three years. So after six months, I went back saying, you know what, maybe because I'm left handed, maybe that's why I'm having all of these symptoms. So again, it was placed on my right arm and I was having, I was still having the same symptoms again and think the major major effect which made me hated this next plan was that the prolonged bleeding like i could bleed for a week and then be free for another week and then be bleeding in the third week again like the bleeding never stopped and it was starting to do my head and so i just went back in and i'm like no i want this out and not for like how did you cope with this like how did you cope that was a question to me so i was glad I took out next plan on the one i had in the past again was um it's normally called generally called coil so it is an intrauterine device iud so i'm gonna read it fast because i had it in the past i loved it so it is 99 percent effective there's one for five years and there's the one for 10 years so the one i had in the past was for five years and one of the symptoms or side effect of this is that your period may be heavy it may be longer you may experience spotting and you may experience bleeding in between periods and it could actually stop to your period like this you won't even menstruate at all and again just like every other um, contraceptive out there it does not prevent sti so both of you and both you and your partner need to be well informed about each other's sexual life or sexual health that is nobody has go know that they are hiding from you which means that even though you have next plan on or you have the popovera whatever you are still advised to use condoms but if you're confident in one another that this person doesn't have any infection they are hiding from me you might want to skip the condom but if both of you are second guessing each other's sexual health i'll say use a condom okay just to prevent sti and with this um coil it says here that your partner may feel the coil if is well endowed and then the side effect of this is that you might get occasional thrush mood swings risks of ectopic pregnancy which is rare and this happens when maybe it's not sitting properly at the top of your womb and again your body might reject it hence why it's advisable that you should check it yourself or maybe go to your sexual health clinic to get it checked so in the past when i had it i absolutely loved it like i absolutely loved it and i think the thing one of the past symptoms i experienced was that was the mood swings and i think low libido that you know i hated having sex and i wouldn't want to like so that was some of the um, 
past experiences and then i think i experienced the fact that your partner could actually feel it yes because i remember my husband saying to me that oh that i can feel your courage and i'm like eh, well it's there what do you want me to do so which means that if you have a partner who trusts hard or who like rigorous mm -mm, they might feel your coil which is a good thing because it's that assuring you that it's sitting in the right place and even though your partner might feel it it's not going to harm your partner in any way it's just like a plastic like a flexible stuffed plastic that is just sitting there and it just passes all the progesterone and stuff into your body to prevent you from getting pregnant so when i had my appointment a week and a half ago i went for coil again because i loved it i loved it and i told the doctor i won the one for 10 years but she refused me and i was like why she was like um, you're still young i'm like yeah i'm young but i don't want to have any more kids past i was using the withdrawal method but withdrawal method gave me extra two kids so <clears throat> so i said to her like um yeah i might be young but I don't want to have any more kids that can I just get it 10 years so I know that when I'm in my 40 something age that's when I'll come back and have another one she was like um based on your age she will advise I go for the five years one so like okay so I loved it and for me it did not stop my period so instead it just makes it lighter and shorter which means that I still get my period but it's just shorter and light it's not heavy at all I said is felt it it I could feel the plastic so for me it's reassuring in the way that it's sitting in the right place at some point normally you advise to check it yourself I tried checking it but I couldn't feel it because I'm tall and I've always heard my GP every time I go for my smear test my nurse always says that no your cervix is way high that I can't reach so she always go for this tongue you know the tongue they use to open your cervix she always go for those long ones so like no i'm gonna use a long one because your cervix is quite at the top and that's because you are tall it's not a bad thing so i'm gonna have to use so she know when you do smear tests you all know now mm -hmm. so uh, that's why i don't like her checking for me but my husband is good at checking that for me so the one i got the i think the brand name for the one i got is called mirena yeah, that's it there that was the one I got and then I got the leaflet information booklet so that's Mirena that I got so mine is gonna last me for five years I was given the date when I'm gonna come back to get it renewed you know and the name of the doctor is there my name and telephone contact number so on the card it gave the date I had it inserted and the date that I meant to come back, so I meant to come back in 2026 to get that replaced. So Mirana is the one I go, and I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. So yeah, so there comes to the end of my women's health talk. So let's take the conversation into the comment section. What kind of contraceptive are you using? Are you using condom? Are you using the withdrawal method? good luck on that one or are you using any of the injections or the combined pills or high ud let's talk in there let's educate one another and if you're watching me till now and you've not yet subscribed to my channel like what the why what are you waiting for what are you waiting for so without wasting much of your time why don't you click like to the like this video drop me a comment in the comment section so we could take this comment further subscribe if you're here to subscribe and turn on the post notification which is just a tiny bell beside the subscribe button and it will notify you of any time or every time i upload a video and i hope to catch up with you in my next video bye